All right, so I just got a new uh, Barbera Soloist arch top pickup. So I sent the the bridge top here, sent that to Rich Barbera, and he sent me back a replacement bridge top with the pickup installed. And you can kind of see the, the wire going down there into the, the F hole. Um, the wire comes out the top of the bridge top and runs down. I got to run it down at the bottom F hole because I figured running it this way would be, you know, in a way in my hand and I might damage the wire or something. Um, I would rather that the wire came out the bottom, but you know, no big deal. That's just the way he makes them. So this is an Eastman AO, AR805E. Uh, it's like a 2005 model. It came with the factory floating pickup. I'd replace this with a Kent Armstrong um, handmade single coil with adjustable pole pieces so I could use it with uh, acoustic strings. It's got a nice nice flame maple back on it. It's a good guitar. I like this guitar. So anyway, to start out with, we'll uh, get an idea what this guitar sounds like without the pickup. So let's do a little uh, chunk chunk rhythm. That's it. It's got that honky mid-range. It's a X-Brace guitar. It's a little bright, but I kind of like it. I like playing it. It's fun. So, um, what I did is I have wired the the electric pickup to the um, tip pin of the end pin jack, and I wired the Barbera to the sleeve. So, what I'm doing right now is... I'm just plugging this in to one click. Oh, and uh, I failed to mention. Yeah, there it is. Failed to mention that I'm running this through a. This is a Boss AD10. It's a uh, acoustic preamp. It's digital. Uh, the reason I picked this preamp is because it's got. Two separate inputs and you can save two separate EQs for each of your input channels. So I play in a band, I play flat top and arch top and each one requires substantially different equalization. Um, so then I can switch back and forth between the two. So that works pretty well for me. Right now I've got the input set. Well, you can, you can bypass the uh, EQ. So I've got the input set with the EQ bypassed. So you can hear what the pickup sounds like just with no, uh, with no EQ at all. And actually, I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't really have to EQ the, the pickup that much to, uh, to get it to sound good. So let's plug this in a click. And again, this is the... This is the guitar. That's what we sound like without the pickup unamplified. So this... Let me get it right. This is what it sounds like. So I'll play the same chunk at each. Let me make sure I got the right. Yeah, I had it pushed in too far. I had the electric pickup. So let's do this that same rhythm with the with the pickup. Here we go. That's, that's the chunkity sound. This is just open chords. Sounds pretty good. It sounds a little flat topish. I mean, it doesn't really retain the sound of the arch top, but then again, I've had this speaker up pretty loud and it doesn't feed back. Whereas I had a pick up the world um, under bridge pickup on this guitar before, and I could barely get this speaker up to a reasonable volume, and this would start feeding back pretty bad. So I had to do a lot of uh, EQing and notch filtering on that other pickup. But this one, this is no EQ at all. Oops. Sorry. There. Sorry about that. There. That's the electric pickup. Sorry, this is a little tricky getting this work right. This is the uh, Barbera. If you're not 
careful, you might find yourself doing something like this. Sorry about this lame plan, but this is just a demo here. So, um, let's see. Just give you a comparison here. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this all the way in, and we're gonna get the um, Ken Armstrong right now going straight into the preamp, um, no EQ. So, just to give you an idea what the Kent sounds like, running into a it's a lot more of a jazzy tone. Let's try the same. Uh, oh, I know what. So you get an idea what that sounds like, and it's also got a switch. You can go to a higher winding position, so it sounds more like a P90. So that's that. What I plan to do is run the uh, Barbera through the, the preamp and direct into the PA and then run the Kent Armstrong directly into a, an old tube amp so I can switch back and forth between the two or blend them together. So right now I'm just using this plug, push it in, pull it out to get the different preamps or pickups rather. So uh, what else? Oh, with this preamp, I can warm things up a little bit. It's got a function called the uh, acoustic resonance which is really I think a digital algorithm to kind of simulate the resonance of uh, an acoustic guitar top unfortunately that uh, acoustic resonance function is <laughs> it makes it sound more like a flat top but let me give you what kind of what that sounds like so that's just naked no no uh, no EQ and I'm gonna add the uh, resonance so it warms it up just a little bit. Let's do the same chunk rhythm. Now here's without the resonance switch here. Let me uh, just do an A B between this guitar and my flat top to give you an idea of the difference. So I got a flat top here. This is a J185 vintage reissue from the early 90s. I like this guitar a lot. Um, it's got uh, um, Diderio uh, nickel bronze 12s on it. The other guitar has uh, Martin Retro Monel's of uh, 12s. I really like those strings, but I think I like the nickel bronzes better for this. These are a little old. They probably need replacing, but uh, let me change channels here. So this is the flat top sound. So you do the same chunk rhythm on this. Definitely more of a flat top sound, though. flat top let's go back to the Eastman
like if I the way I you use this guitar is gonna be pretty much sock rhythm. Just the guitar, same thing. soloist a uh, little pricey 400 bucks 15 shipping but uh, I think it's gonna solve the problem I, I have with trying to make this guitar work with uh, a full band with uh, drums and upright bass fiddle steel guitar that kind of thing so let me give you guys just one more comparison I had recently purchased this it's a Epiphone uh, Master Built Deluxe uh, Classic, I think. Um, it's got built in a built in pickup. Basically, it's just a, uh, there you can see it here. See the bridge there. What it's got is kind of the same concept as the um, Barbera, only it's just using a run of the mill, standard, cheap, uh, under saddle, under saddle pickup. They just took the bridge top and cut a groove and put a regular. Same kind of, of uh, bridge you'd put in an acoustic guitar. So then it's got electronics, a preamp. It's got the uh, battery thing here, and it's actually got some EQ and volume here in the uh, F hole. So let me give you an idea what this thing sounds like um, without any EQ. And I was hoping this would be the answer to what I'm trying to do here, but. <laughs> tuners on this thing are kind of crappy. That's what this sounds like. And not not such a great tone here. And you can tell it's starting to try to feed back too. Um, it does have the volume controls and the tone, but we can try to adjust this with the tone. So if I want to turn the bass up to try to roll the treble up, it doesn't really roll the treble up. It just increases the bass. Do the other way, all the way to the uh, treble side. It's not very good, right? So I do. So that's this one, and that's also with the acoustic resonance turned on. Let me turn that off. So this is just straight without that resonance control on. It's fun to play because it's got a big fat neck, but um, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna work very well. We'll see. So one last comparison. Here's the here's the uh, Epiphone. I'm gonna plug the Eastman with the Barbera back in.
have it. Um, comments, questions, whatever, just shoot me a note. Um, I'm, I'm liking it. I think it's going to work well. Thanks.